Hello and welcome to Dad Got This, where we answer the tough questions like, how do you make the best chicken wings ever? How do you win one of three amazing monument grills? And what is a chicken's favorite composer? That last one is easy. Bok, 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 bok. Monument Grills Day is officially August 20th. And to celebrate, they are giving away three Monument Grills, and you can win one of them. Just one, you can't have all three. They're giving away a Denali 605 Pro, just like mine. They're giving away a Mesa 415BZ and a Mesa 200G. Entering is super easy. I'm gonna put everything down in the description so you just have to click and go. You gotta be a subscriber of my channel. You gotta follow Monument Grills. You gotta go on their website and fill out a form. That's it. In honor of Monument Grills Day, I'm gonna cook my favorite thing, I think, to grill chicken wings. Let's head inside, because it's about a billion degrees out here, and go prep our chicken wings. We're going for a spin on a Filipino barbecue recipe that I use for just about everything. We need a half a cup of brown sugar. Light, dark, doesn't matter. You need two cups of soda, Sprite, 7-Up. You can even use Coke, it adds a wonderful flavor. Happen to have some Sprite in the house. Three cups. I have a lot of chicken. This is dark soy sauce. You could use regular soy sauce. This just adds like a better flavor. You can get it at Asian markets or I'll throw a link down to some that you can buy on Amazon. Start with a half a cup and then I'll see what it looks like. Like I said, this is a marinade I do a lot and I kind of just eyeball it. I've never really written down a recipe. So you guys are gonna be the first one to get it. I think a half a cup is going to be plenty. As you can see, the dark soy sauce kind of coats it. It's a little thicker than your average soy sauce, as if it wasn't already sweet enough. We're gonna go with about a quarter cup of honey. Depending on how much you like the taste of ginger is how much you're going to put in. Uh, I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of ground ginger. If you really like ginger and you want it a little bit punchier, you can go with two, even three. We're gonna go with a tablespoon of granulated onion, tablespoon of granulated garlic. Actually, that was the garlic, this is the onion. I didn't see the bottles. And then because it's me, garlic. Now I know this garlic is cheating and it doesn't carry the same punch as regular garlic, but it's just so easy. So I keep it around the house and I use it for stuff like this. We're gonna go with three of these because they're not that punchy of a garlic flavor. Grab yourself a whisk and whip it up. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? All whipped up. We'll set this aside and let's prep our wings. Glove up. Doctor, doctor. Get yourself some chicken wings. It's like dealing cards. Now you can grill them exactly like this if you wanted to. I think they grill up easier and it's easier to control the cook on this guy versus this guy if you separate them. And it's really easy to do. Grab your wing, grab yourself a sharp knife. You always wanna have a sharp knife. This is my favorite knife that I own. It is my Ken Onion Shun Japanese chef knife. Honestly, chef knife is just about the only knife you need to own. If you wanna know more about knives, I made a whole video about knives, which ones you need, and knife care. I'll link it down in the description. All right. You don't need a cleaver or anything for this. You just need a sharp knife and you need to know where the joints are. And it doesn't hurt to just break. See, if you, if you kind of bend it and wait till it breaks, you'll see the natural joint. Find that joint, cut right through it. Those go away. And the same thing, you can just kind of break and it'll help you find the joint until you really kind of know what you're doing. And boom. You have a flap and a drum. Let me know in the comments, are you a flap person or a drum person? I think I'm a drum person. And I'm a drum? And we're just gonna go ahead and do this for everybody. Once you kind of get the hang of where the bones are, you can kind of skip the breaking procedure. But every once in a while you miss a joint and you just push through bone. Now, if you don't wanna be wasteful, you can hold on to these and just stick them in a bag, put them in the freezer with any other chicken parts you cut off and make yourself an awesome chicken stock at some point. Get yourself a gallon freezer bag. Everybody knows these are just called Ziploc bags, even though they're not the only one who make them. They're the only ones I ever find and the only ones I buy are Ziplocs. 
So get yourself a gallon freezer Ziploc bag. Make sure to use the freezer kind. They're thicker and more durable. They really just kind of hold up better for this kind of stuff. And now you take all your wings, put them in here. Now that we have our wings in a bag and our marinade, guess what happens next? Shake it back! Not that, this. Close up your bag. Make sure it's sealed nice and tight. You do not want leaking. I never leak, I never leak, I never leak. I like to then rinse out the bowl that I made the marinade in, give it a quick wipe. Push that down so that the marinade all goes over the wings. Seal it back up. Now, you could just do it in the bowl. I like to do it in the bag in the bowl because that allows me to turn it every once in a while, flip them, make sure all the wings are being coated. The bowl also is a safety net in case leaking happens. This is going to go in the fridge for two to three hours. This could go overnight, but it could be too powerful. The marinade is pretty strong with that dark soy sauce and all the sugars, so it could be a little bit too much. I like to do two to four hours, and that's always been great for me. This is gonna go in the fridge, and we'll see you in a couple hours. It's been a few hours. Let's get the grill kicked up. These are super easy to grill. We are gonna turn on a couple burners to about a medium heat. Stick the wings on and just let them chill there a little bit until they start to sizzle and cook. You'll know they're ready to flip when they don't stick. Most people try to flip things too early and that's when they stick. Now we're gonna flip them around, kind of keep rotating them into the different hot spots and low spots of the grill so we get an even cook on everything. We wanna get a nice char. Once we get a char, we're gonna pop them up to the top shelf. Keep turning them and flipping them. Watch them because they will burn on you. There is a lot of sugar in this marinade. Now you can take this time to finish off any that need a little extra char. Now we're gonna turn all our burners down to low. Once we're on low, we are gonna start glazing our wings. I'm using some Japanese barbecue sauce and all I gotta do is spritz it on there, get a good coating on everything and we're gonna close this grill off and let it go for a few minutes so they get tacky. If you know me, you know I like to double check temps on food to make sure everything's good and these wings are pretty much ready to go. Hit them with some more glaze, close it back down, and just look at them, you can see them, they're starting to get nice and sticky and great looking. One more setting of glaze, why not? And now these bad boys are done. And these are guaranteed to be some of the best wings you have ever made. Look at how sticky and nice and charred they are. Go for a drum. They're sweet, but not too sweet. They still have that savory umami flavor from the dark soy sauce. Man, these are so good. The absolute only problem I have with these wings is not eating the entire thing before I serve them to my family. This Japanese barbecue sauce is amazing. I love this stuff. I'll throw a link to it on Amazon. It's really good. Finger looking good. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel, you follow Monument Grills, you click the link in the description and you submit your form so you have a chance to win one of those grills. Maybe you'll win this 605 Pro. Not this one, this one's mine. You can't have it. Do the likey subscribe stuff. YouTube loves it when you give it a like. Leave a comment. I answer just about every comment in my comment section. And if you really want to support this channel, consider becoming a member. Members get things like 24 hour early access to videos, shout outs, credits, all kinds of stuff. I guess we answered the question of how to cook the best wings ever and how to win a monument grill. That only leaves one question left to answer. What do you call a chicken that haunts a house? A poultry geist. Yeah. Dad may tell you how to win grills, how to make wings, but one thing dad will never do is an outro. So that's it. Bye. This episode of Dad Got This was brought to you by our producers. Thank you very much.